Welcome. Today we're going to be changing the props on my Mini 2. Now these props don't really need changing, uh, the drone has been performing fine. If you actually look at the bottom right prop you can see a little bit of damage. As I have the Fly More Combo Kit I have three packets of what you can see on the right there which enables me to change all the props in one go. I believe if you just have the drone itself you just get one of those packets which only lets you change half the props. So I am going to change all the props today and keep the ones I take off as spares because I know they perform absolutely fine. You can see I'm just showing you there the slight damage on those two props, nothing major. They were caused when I tried to fly the drone inside at my workplace in a factory. <laughs> yes, I have crashed it once. Nothing major. I'm also just checking the bearings on these rotors. They're not entirely smooth. I don't know if they were like that to start with or if they've always been like that. But as I've said, I haven't had any performance issues, so it should be okay. It is recommended you change both props per rotor at the same time. As you can see they come as matched pairs in the packet, that would be for balancing reasons. You don't want any bad vibrations or any vibrations whatsoever. The black tape there is to cover my operator's ID. I don't want to be showing that to everyone on YouTube. There are some out there that are against drones feel their privacy is being invaded and they will just report you to the authorities. Each prop is just held on by a single shoulder screw and these screws are very small so it could be easy to shear the screw or strip the thread so care is needed. The thread itself on these screws does have pre-applied thread lock so there's no need to add any Loctite or anything like that because <laughs> you will have trouble getting the screw out when it comes to change the props again. And because the screws do have pre-applied thread lock, you will have some resistance when undoing these screws and putting them back in. So that is normal. Please do not cross the threads. <laughs> you will mess up your drone. Now, and I'm just showing you the very small part of the screw that is threaded, which has the pre applied thread lock. And I'm putting the props back in, the used props back into the packet, and I will keep those if I need to put them back on, as I know they do work fine. The packets the props come in do show you where they go on the drone, so make sure you get that correct. I would actually like to try and put them on the opposite sides of where they should go. Not sure what would happen. Would it go up instead of down or down instead of up? It'd be interesting to actually experiment with that. <laughs> Let's see what happens. But for now, I'll put them where they should go. And this is just a silly little suggestion. Use scissors to cut open these packets, especially the screws. Um, you know what happens when you try to tear open these things. Uh, your hands slip, the packet flies open, the screws go everywhere and you never find them again. Just like a piece of IKEA furniture when you're trying to assemble in that, you always have a screw that goes somewhere and you never find it again until you don't need it. Thankfully DJI do supply a spare screw with every set of props so you have three when you only need two thanks dji and something i almost forgot to mention are the markings on top of the props you see the orange stripe that should be facing up i'm now screwing in the screw and do not force it any further than it wants to go 
you do not want to shear that screw off. That should be good. Well done me. So while I'm doing the rest of these props, anything else that can be mentioned? Well, I wouldn't recommend using the old screw uh, as the thread lock is only designed to be used once unless you want to start checking these screws every time you use the drone in case they come loose. And I would definitely use the screwdriver that comes with your drone as that should match the cross headed screws perfectly. You don't want to be rounding off these heads as that's another way to really mess up your drone. I can't imagine drilling these things out It'd be very difficult. It is something I have experience with at my job. From time to time, screws do shear, especially the smaller ones, and they are a pain to drill out. So take your time, and all should go as planned. See the props are moving nice and freely. And that's one arm done. So over to the bottom left, obviously check the packet for the right location. And if you look carefully on these props near the screw, you can see there's a marking to help you identify where these props go, which is very useful if you do keep these old props and you don't keep them in the original packet that tells you where they go, then you can tell which ones they are by that marking. And with that, I think that's all I need to explain. I'll keep the video running if you want to keep watching and I'll play some lovely little background music. So thanks for watching. Hopefully next time I'll have an adventure for you. I did actually try to go out this morning, um, but the weather was so dull and uninspirational, I kind of gave up really. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of reminded me of the, um, what's that, the new Disney Marvel's Eternals trailer. It was just so dull and a typical UK overcast day, really. Yeah, that movie's not looking good. <laughs> right, thanks guys. See you next time.